Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Pamela Muga, an obstetrician gynecologist working in partnership with Ponea Health. Today we're going to discuss uh, preeclampsia. Uh, so we'll start with what is preeclampsia. So preeclampsia is a disease that occurs in pregnancy and it causes an elevated blood pressure in pregnancy. And because your blood pressure goes up, it starts to damage various things. Uh, one of the more important things is that it can damage the placenta and it can affect your baby in that way. Um, it can affect you as well because it can damage your other organs, your kidneys, your brain, yeah, and it can cause quite a number of problems in pregnancy. So that is what preeclampsia is. So some of the risks of preeclampsia uh, would include age, um, extremes of age especially. So if you're a young mother, uh, or if you're above 35 and you get pregnant, then you're at a higher risk of getting preeclampsia. Um, also, if you're overweight, uh, you can be at a higher risk of getting preeclampsia. Um, if you have any medical conditions, so any issues with your blood pressure, if you have issues with diabetes, then those are uh, things that might predispose you to preeclampsia. And for those, we encourage that you go to clinic before you get pregnant so that they can be put under control by the time you're getting pregnant, and that actually tends to reduce the risk. If you're carrying more than one baby, then that actually can predispose you to getting preeclampsia. Um, if you've had preeclampsia before, um, so in your previous pregnancies you've had an episode of preeclampsia that can also predispose you to getting preeclampsia. If you have a new partner, so maybe the father of your previous children was different from the father of this particular child, then you can be at a risk of getting preeclampsia. Or if you're a first time mother and this is your first pregnancy, then there is a little bit higher risk of you getting preeclampsia. So preeclampsia is generally diagnosed once you go to the hospital, mostly during your antenatal clinic visits. So we'll take your blood pressure and if we notice that it's high, uh, your urine test is also normally done. And in the urine we are checking to see whether there is protein in your urine. Um, probably some of the symptoms that you might come with from home might be swelling. Yeah? Um, ordinarily, most women get a bit of swelling in the legs when they are pregnant and especially as the pregnancy progresses. But sometimes it starts to occur a little bit early and you get swelling in other parts of your body. So your arms, your face, and especially if your face swells in the mornings, then it's important for us to actually check to see if you have preeclampsia. So those are some of the signs and symptoms. Um, we try to get uh, worried about preeclampsia becoming a little bit more severe. If you have a headache, a persistent headache, so it's always important if you've had any of those signs and you're getting a persistent headache to seek medical care as fast as possible. Also pain in the upper part of your stomach area. So if you're feeling pain in the upper part of your stomach, you have that swelling, then it's important to go to hospital immediately. Um, sometimes you may actually get difficulty seeing. So if your vision is affected and you're pregnant, just go to a hospital and have that checked as well. So those are the signs of severe preeclampsia, which are quite dangerous. In terms of treatment, there are various treatments that are available. Uh, for people who are at high risk of preeclampsia, then there are certain medications that we would start you on. So this is part of the reason why it's important to go for your antenatal clinics. We're able to establish if you're at a high risk of preeclampsia or not, and we're able to give you some medications which sometimes can actually prevent you from getting preeclampsia, or will at least give us time during your pregnancy for your baby to mature enough to survive outside the uterus, so that even if they come out a little bit early, then you still go home with a baby. So in terms of prevention of preeclampsia, it actually depends on which risk factors you have. There are some of them which are adjustable, yeah, and there are others which are not. So things like medical conditions, if your diabetes or hypertension is under good control, then that might actually prevent you from getting preeclampsia in your pregnancy. If you're heavy in terms of being obese or overweight, then weight loss before your pregnancy may actually help you to prevent you from getting preeclampsia. Um, but there are some of them which we cannot adjust. If you're a first-time mother, we cannot adjust that. If you're a little bit older or a little bit very or a little bit younger, then we are not able to adjust that. So it's always important to attend your antenatal clinics because once we're able to identify your risk factors, then there are certain things that we do to try and prevent you from getting severe preeclampsia. Thank you for engaging with me in this episode. You can book our services at ponea.com. We look forward to meeting you in the next episode.